Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. You've just won $250 million and it's been deposited in your bank account. What are you going to do today? Check my balance about 100 times. With that sort of money you could get your inner ear issue surgically resolved. Disappear. A man comes home one day and says, guess what honey? Pack your bags. I just got $250 million. Quote. The wife squeals with delight and says, that's great. Should I pack for the mountains or the beach? He says, I don't care, just get out. Quote. A man comes home and says to his wife, what would you do if I told you we had won the lottery? The wife says, I'd take half and leave you for Dave. The husband replies, brilliant, here's five pounds now get out. Quote. Same. I'd travel the world for a bit and consider the options. I thought op meant he would disappear, cause a loved one will murder him. Retain the services of a top lawyer, accountant and financial advisor. Exactly. Tell no one. Yes. Until I have a game plan with the accountants and lawyers I wouldn't tell or change anything. Want to make sure I'm protected. I'd probably also get a new phone number so that I can screen calls and delete all social media. Sleep. I would sleep so long and so peacefully. Then I'd tackle business. This was my first thought. Have no care in the world, generational wealth and nothing forcing me to wake up to. I would sleep well, except for the toddler screaming at 637 in the only word in his vocabulary thus far nana. But obviously referring to the standard unit of measurement. Find an accountant I trust. And a lawyer. Hire two accounts you trust but that hate each other. Brilliant. And an outstanding plan. Tell no one and act as normal, but certainly eat a lot better. Pay off my debts quietly and make timely acts of kindness to my friends and family. I like this one a lot. I'd probably add in simple acts of kindness to strangers and charity too. Having this much money and people knowing. I feel I'd never be able to trust the sincerity of connections I make. But this is a way to have it and still offer timely help and kindness to others around you. Yes. Do a mass family group text asking them for money. This will buy me valuable time before anyone catches wind and comes running for money. Would also be a good test of who deserves a gift from Daddy Warbix. Get a gift, add two zeros to what you were given, and return it. Book a hip replacement surgery for my mom so she can enjoy walking, traveling again. I also choose this guy's mom's hip surgery. Well, she broke her hip climbing off you, so you're morally obligated. Wait for it to clear. Yeah, that amount of money usually takes a couple days. Shit. I sold a vehicle and the amount took three days to clear and it was nowhere near that. Don't you love how quick credit card transactions and debit purchases go through but when it comes to obtaining funds? Oh no baby you need at least five business days and maybe if Martha had her snacks that day everything will process in time. Sleep. I would relax. I would sit on my ass all day. I would do nothing. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Take a look at my cousin. He's broke. Don't do shit. My favorite lines from office space. Quit my job. Nah, mate. Go in. Be as obnoxious as you can. Tell everyone exactly what you think. See how long it takes you get fired. Have some fun. Nah, I wouldn't give notice. I just just disappear until someone noticed. Get another bank account because it's only FDIC insured up to $250,000. Get a CDAR's or intrafee deposit account to take care of that by the way. Till there is a simple way to get big amounts covered by FDIC insurance. I spend a lot of time on finance related reddits and this this the first time I've encountered this useful tool. Not that I have greater than $250,000 cash, but I do know some people that could benefit and maybe one day I'd have use for it. LMAO forgot it's called intrafee and not promontory anymore. Overpay my credit card so that those bitches can finally owe me money, son. So, now Zoidberg is big, huh? That's more like it. Who's intimidating who now, big city? Hello, Mr. Chase Manhattan Bank. Deny my credit card application, will you? V. Winking face. V. Pay off all my debt. Go to a nice restaurant and have a nice meal. Honestly, going to a restaurant and ordering whatever I want without even thinking about the bill would be an incredible sensation. I would be happy just to go to Chipotle and get the chips and guac on the side. A succulent Chinese meal? Ah yes, I see that you know your judo well. Buy Costco hot dog. Come on, splurge for ice cream. You deserve it. Whoa you can't just impulse buy things. Next thing you know you bought 10 yachts and are in department. Set aside enough for taxes, then contemplate on how I want to live life. What if it was tax free? Then he'd be Canadian. Probably browse Reddit. Hell I'd probably post on Reddit. Get some advice. 
Look no further than something already posted to Reddit congratulations, you're fucked. Quit my job and start browsing Zillow. I've gone down this rabbit hole but the problem is too many options. Beverly Hills, Miami, New York, Colorado, Ranch in Montana. It's like a kid in a candy store except candy is real estate and real estate taxes and property. Maintenance and hoa fees are brutal. With $250 million I think you could afford multiple homes in various areas. They don't need to be multi-million dollar mansions. I'd get land in Wyoming and just start digging holes looking for dinosaur fossils because fuck it.